All right, y'all, here we go. Jenna, my dear, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am so stinking excited that you were willing to share with us today on your virtual parties because when we were at Leader Retreat and you started talking about virtual parties, everything that was coming out of your mouth was just like gold nuggets. And I was like, oh my gosh, this girl is brand spanking new to Pamper Chip, but listen at her, you know? I mean, you have a gift of training, and I loved everything you had to say about virtuals, and we have so many people on our team who want to learn more about virtuals. Um, yeah, Jenny, for sure. And uh, I know I've got Pam King that wants to learn more about them and several others um, who could really benefit from um, your, your teaching. Um, first, Thing, you use which program to do your posting I use post my party boom I love it okay so what I plan on doing is getting everybody on board with post my party on our team so that we can do like the Gantt organization and sharing templates do you find that that's helpful absolutely because I mean as soon as you know you just keep gathering up those templates and yeah. it helps for so many different things okay good well, what I'm going to do is turn it over to you and let you tell us like the basics, the ins and outs, what you do for virtuals, if you don't mind. Um, okay. So kind of just how a virtual party works. Yes. More or less. Yes. Um, so I find that doing the virtual parties, it helps, especially for people with busy schedules because you don't necessarily have to book those out two, three weeks in advance, um, like some people need to with an in-home party. Yeah. Um, and you know, if you're going, like here we are for the last half of November, and you, know, you see that um, you don't have as many bookings as you want, it's easier to get someone to agree on a Wednesday today to start a party on Monday. Um, we find that, uh, it was something that Kim had suggested to me is I start all of my parties on the same day, unless they request otherwise for some strange reason. Um, so they always start on Mondays and they end on Saturdays and I always get them submitted either by Sunday or Monday. Um, one of the things that we do, I have implemented before, um, battle of the hosts and different things like that but i find really that it's it's been better for me just to kind of um i guess customize what i'm doing more towards my host because you do find that some hostesses are going to be extremely uh competitive and they want to get absolutely everything they can and in those cases it works best you can send them small things like you know, find three people to book a party with me from your party and and you'll get a free gift from me or um, you know tag three people in a post and get extra points in the drawing things like that uh, anything that you can do to really get them involved more um, but we post in ours we post for the whole six days um, depending on how it's going I might add in another post with an incentive on um, buying, you know, if nobody's buying by the third or fourth day, I'll put something in there, you know, be the first person to order and, and get us a, um, a gift. Um, just different incentives are what really works well, especially online. In home, people are willing to just look through the catalog and purchase. Online, they're always looking for a deal um, or they want to win those games. The games are very good to have in there as well. Um, trying to think of what else. So, tell me, I guess we could also talk about this. When you're searching, like when you first started and you were searching for your first host, what did you do? I went, uh, starting as a brand new consultant, I went to the people that I knew would do me a favor. So my mom, my mother-in-law, um, and then one of my close friends that lives near me. Um, just go straight to them and use simple words. You don't ever want it to be really long. Just a simple, hey, I've just started my new business. I'm so excited to do it. Would you be able to help me out? Um, and I started out telling people, you know, you just invite people. I'll do everything else. Um, 
but you will find in the virtual parties that the more that your host is involved and participating and excited, the bigger your sales are going to be, especially. Um, so to simply just ask them, say, you know, even just tell them the truth. Say, I have a goal of uh, four parties this month to help me earn back my, my kit purchase. Would you be one of those parties for me? Uh, and I even set a small goal with my new consultants when they sign up that uh, if they do four parties over 200 within the first four, within the first one month, um, then I give them, I think it was five PC dollars, um, just a little extra incentive. Because you know that if they hit that, if they do four shows and they're going to be paying their kit back pretty quickly and they'll be pretty happy with that as well. And Jenna, you're so good because we were just doing this today with Lori um, and your mom even. Um, giving people the words to say, I think, is so important. And you're just phenomenal at that. Yes, Thank you. you are. Oh she God. is. Words to say. Mm -hmm. Words and to say. Especially giving, um, giving your host things to say. So, like, I'll have a little word file. Um, and one of the things that I have in there is something that actually Kim sent me from the very beginning. And it's um, a little suggestion to your hostesses like, Hey, here's something that can help your, um, there's something that can help your party every day is to be posting in it and being active. So if you'd like, here are just little excerpts that you can literally copy and paste into your uh, party every day. So it sounds like it's coming from you, but you didn't have to think about it at all. Um, and that's going to make a big improvement as well. Okay, good. So giving them the words to say. Okay, so now take us from, all right, so you found a hostess. Now what are we going to do besides get them started immediately? What are we going to do? Um, the first thing I do is I always get their uh, phone number, email, and shipping address. If nothing else, I know that you don't need them all necessarily for a party, but I, it's, I feel like it's best to have those for your contacts anyways. Um, if you ever need to send them something personally, um, set them up immediately on Facebook. And I, I have a file on my computer that I downloaded every single cover photo that Pampered Chef has in their marketing imagery. Mm -hmm. Just go in and choose one of those for the, um, for the cover photo. And I always set up the description is the exact same in everybody's. I just change. Uh, the hostess's name on it. So I can just go back to one of my past events, copy and paste that in, invite that host as a co-host, and then just send her a quick message, letting her to know that she um, is going to want to invite, if, if she feels comfortable with it, invite every single person on your wish list, I mean, on your wish list, on your um, friends list. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just invite 30 or 40 people like an in-home party. You want to get anywhere from 15 to 30 people um, 30 people is is a good number to shoot for in attendance, especially. Um, but anywhere from 15 to 30 people will usually yield a pretty good party, it seems like. Okay, cool. And we have a little Facebook, we call it a little Facebook 101 document that details everything out that we share with everybody. So if they follow this, you know, it's easy. Okay. Yeah. I like this. All right, so now what are you gonna do? You've got it set up, your rip room ready to go, and you use, like you said, post my party. I love post my party. Mm -hmm. um, so you said that you cater your post to the host. So, or cater your theme, I guess, for the party to your hostess. So kind of take us through what you would normally do during a basic Facebook show. Give us some tips. Um, well, setting it up on the post my party, we started it off and we did the daily templates of having just your basic six or seven different themes, different daily themes. Um, and an extra thing that I went and did is, is went and, and took some of those same posts. Like I have one that's geared towards baking for people who are into the holiday baking and stuff. Um, and then I took that actually, and I changed around some of the images, put in different games. Um, and had that as basically a second copy of that same template so that if you have multiple people um, in a party that have been to a couple of your other parties, 
like I had happened in the last couple of months, you can switch that up so that they're not seeing the exact same thing. Um, they're not getting bored out of it. Um, but for the most part, day one, I always do is a welcome and introductions. And I always use Kim's suggestion of um, my very, one of my very first posts. It says, you know, my name is Jenna. I'm going to be your consultant. If this were a in-home party, this is where I would be introducing myself to you. And then I even make a little joke. I know you don't want to sit here and read some long drawn out story about me. So join me around eight or nine and I'll do a live video real quick. And then just hop on with something like the ceramic egg cooker. Or now I have the cold brew coffee uh, that I'll start doing. <laughs> uh, and just talk you know, about myself. My daughter's usually in the background um, screaming, crying, or, or just babbling. Um, Life. Yeah, like y'all were saying, keeping it real, <laughs> pretty much. Just showing them that you're a real person uh, and that, you know, you have a family and they can see really why you're doing it. Um, so in that first day, it's all of the welcomes. How does this work? I even have one template where it'll be more of it's all about breakfast with my introductions as well. Um, any kind of roll call, having people introduce themselves so you learn a little bit about them or even a post that asks them, you know, hey, what is your favorite product and why do you love it? So you get people talking about what they love and selling it to each other like you would in your regular parties. I like that. Um, throughout the week, there's more of, you know, the themed um, meals. So like Taco Tuesday was one of the original ones that, that our whole team did. Um, the power tools one day, I've even gone into a second template that I do more of. It's all about dinner time, but it's the rock, crock, and stoneware. Um, a pantry day. Let's see, especially around this time, the tailgating when you can theme it around something specific. So like this month I've been doing just one day catered to Thanksgiving Ooh, so that people aren't going to get overwhelmed with an entire week full of Thanksgiving stuff. They want all the Thanksgiving, but they don't want it for an entire week. <laughs> Thank you. Gift giving. We have one template that's about gifts. Yes, the gift giving. So like the baked gift and um, the gifting sets, all of that stuff. Um, and especially keeping more of those, the heavy, you know, I always make sure I have one template in there that is all of the heavy um, power tool items. So that you have something there to talk about where maybe they aren't going to want to buy them, but you're at least putting it in their minds to try and get them to book so they can get that. All right. So good segue into bookings. How do you really, how do you focus on bookings? Um, now that is one, one part that I personally am uh, trying to do some more studying on and figuring out something that works better for me. But any kind of post that is right now I'm using the whole book a party, pick a Turkey um, and you know, they'll win a prize like a free spice added to their order or whatnot. But what I'm really experimenting with right now is working with that hostess. Cause I've had hostesses before that um, or parties before that nobody will book a party, but then Afterwards, the hostess gets all of her stuff that she got for free at her house, and she had one of her friends over at the house showing her all that stuff, and she talked her into a party. Uh, so now my focus is more of talking to that host and more along those lines of if you can find three people to book a party from your party, not only will you get half off items at their party, but I'll give you a free gift with your order today. Uh, just to sweeten that pot a little bit. It's always one of those you you give a little bit to get much more. I like that. Okay, and one other thing is congrats on being a fast track director. I'm so proud of you. I'm wearing my necklace today. Yay! <laughs> I, was I was like, oh, she got her necklace. She got her necklace. It's so exciting. <laughs> um, so share with us a little bit how you have been able to add some awesome team members to your team by doing these virtual parties. I mean, this is unbelievable. I'm so excited about this part. Yeah, that was um, 
gosh, October was like a really, really big adrenaline run for all of us. Um, <laughs> I was on pins and needles for you. I'm like, Kim, what's going on now? What's going on, Kim? Have you talked to her today, Kim? Kim? I know my husband, I was driving my husband absolutely crazy. Um, but with that, getting those people and honestly, like I've even told one of my girls who's really wanting to fast track. I told her, I said, you just really have to ask every single person. Cause I told her the first three people that including her that um, joined my team, like I never even thought about asking them. You know, they were people that came up to me and well, one of them, I mean, my first person was my mom. And I had always said, you know, if I needed to at the very end, yeah. I could ask her to buy a kit to help me out. Right. And, but she ended up coming to me instead. So thinking of all those people that I might have missed out on mm -hmm. because I didn't think to ask them and they weren't comfortable enough to come to me. So now it's just more of, um, I see a, someone on Facebook saying they need a, a new part-time job or a new second job. I'll message them. Um, not even thinking about it. And I say, I know this sounds kind of crazy uh, because it, it sounds like a direct sales job, but I can show you how this will work for you. Um, so how do you talk about it also in your parties? Do you do specific posts on certain days? Do you put one a day? What do you normally do? I include right now I've been including something that one of our other team members um, put up to share as a template. And it's one that posts, one thing at the end of every day. So it, mine, it posts every night about nine o'clock and it's things like, um, if you're settling in for the night, but you're dreading that drive to work tomorrow morning, you know, send me a message and we can talk about how you can get out of that or, or certain things like that. Um, one of the big things on the very last day, I always do the same template, which is I call closing day. Um, and it always, tells you about things like you know the host more kind of funny things like one i say my host has earned her phd her past host discount um so talk about that and what they can get for hosting and then as well as um i offer them extra i have a little post that gives sample questions like how much do you make how many hours do you work and i tell them if they ask me any questions they get extra points into the drawing um, kind of like that ticket game. And then I have one also that I even do just to put it all out there. That is a little typewriter image. And every month I put um, the number, the dollar amount that I got from my personal sales on there. Um, and I haven't done this past month. I didn't do the whole, you know, what I got with the bonus and everything, but you know, even just the amount that you make off of your sales, when they see that number across the, the screen and they think, how the heck did she do that? So I tell them, you know, this is what I made. I did all virtual shows last month. I didn't leave my house. I didn't have to tote my stuff around. Um, and then at the end, I tell them, I ask them a question. I say, what, um, what does I say? I say, name one thing that, that having this extra money could do for you. And you don't get a lot of posts on it, but whenever you do get that one post of, well, you know, I could pay off an extra bill with that, you know, then that's an extra lead to, to go into talking to them. And so when you said that you ask everyone, does that mean that when Susie Jones places an order on day three, you call her up or you message her and do a full service checkout or what do you do? Um, with the orders, I have not necessarily been asking I guess I've not necessarily been asking every single person to join my team. I start off asking them uh, to host. Okay. And so uh, one of the things I've been incorporating, everybody that places an order at one of my parties, a day before I close out the party, I'll send them a message. Thank you again for your order. You helped so-and-so earn some free and discounted stuff. Um, I just had one more question before I go and close out the party, and I wanted to see if you'd would be interested in earning some free and discounted stuff for yourself as well. Okay. And it'll take you either one of two directions. No, I'm not ready at this time. Or it'll say, they'll say, um, they'll say yes. In which I'll set them up with a party and I ask all of my hostesses about the business. So then they get that later on. 
But if they say something like, no, I don't have the money to buy anything right now anyways, or they'll lead into something about money problems. Um, and then I'll just lead into the whole, you know, I can share with you what this business has done for me, if that's something that would interest you. Yeah. Okay. I'm digging that. Yeah. She's, uh, like she's getting her little vitamin that she wants. Well, you don't, you don't get them all. Um, and, and Jenna, one thing, um, when you first started your business, were we doing monthly templates at that time? Yeah. For, okay. I think it was maybe for the first couple of weeks that I was in it. And then when we went to conference, we learned about how to take the show experience and transfer that into the virtual show experience. And, you know, you just talked about that. It was all about what your host needs and wants. And then we, we also learned at conference about, you know, not just putting willy nilly post out there, making your days themed. Mm -hmm. so that's when we went into doing daily, um, you know, templates instead of taking hours to create a whole monthly template. Yeah. We did daily ones with, that have different things, which you can set up a party now in 15, 20 minutes. Right. Absolutely. Have daily templates. And it's customized as well. Yes. Um, like I was telling Kim with my mother-in-law who needs a little bit of extra help learning some computer stuff. Um, you know, we were able to, she got her first party to start today. So last night we were able to just go on there and show her one template for today's, um, day of the party. And, you know, this just 10 or 12 posts. So it took us an hour to go through that. She got her first day set up and then we're just going to go through it day by day, setting up the rest of the party. So you don't have to have it all set out right. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, going crazy, getting it all set up at one time. And I think that's why sometimes it looks like oh, I'm not going to fool with that because it could seem overwhelming with these month long, you know, templates and stuff. And you're like, what the heck am I going to do with that? So I yeah. think that would be very helpful to have daily templates. Now, can you share with us really quick what, what you do with um, post my party? Like, I don't know if we need to do a separate thing where you share your screen or, or what, I mean, do you have it like another couple of minutes where we could share the post my party? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do you want to do it now or? Um, if everybody wants to do that, that's fine. Yeah. Yes. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> and um, those who are needing like Pam, I know she's getting ready to start a party on Wednesday. This will kind of help her see what to do. I, I and it's a lot, it works out a lot better to be able to see it like this too, because we, we started off um, with my consultants, you know, telling them post my party has a video you can watch, but when you go in there and you import a template and get into that, it's so confusing. But once you have the hang of it, it is like 10 minutes to set up a party. I agree. If you don't mind sharing your screen with us and showing us how to do that real fast, that would be awesome. Alrighty. I know that'll help everybody. All right. Yay. <laughs> um, so, which I don't have a template to import to show you the importing process, but um, I can just show you how the, I guess how the templates look and how the parties get set up. That would be perfect right there. Okay. Um, so this is the, oops, sorry. This is the um, dashboard for the post my party and it does have all of these different videos you can watch to help you with it. Um, but the only thing I ever even pay attention to is templates and parties yep. and the templates is where we have a list of all of our stored ones and I have a ton of them. So this looks a little overwhelming. Um, this was when we did our, and I need to delete these, I guess this is when we did our monthly templates and it was like mm -hmm. 60 posts long. That's why it took so long. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now, you, you know, you can see that I have a couple of different types um, and you can edit each one. The, like this is the welcome one. So it tells you where you can edit or delete a post. It tells you what message is going to post, any kind of pictures or links, what day and what time. Um, 
and where you can adjust and all kinds of things here. And then for parties, it looks very overwhelming and I always tell people that because there's so much here, but really what it is, and some of these parties aren't even going right now, um, but the reason it looks so overwhelming is since we do the daily templates, you're pretty much going to look like you're going to have one party for every single day Absolutely. instead of one party per party. Um, so, and I have a new one that I've got to set up anyway, so I'll show you that real quick. Yay. All you do to set up a new one when you have your templates is you go to And you're just going to choose your template that you're going to be um, using. And I'm, of course, using my first day one welcome and introductions. I choose, I always do it on a personal event. So I'm going to choose a personal private event, tell it whose party I want it to go to, which is this girl Tamara's. I'm going to tell it to start next Monday. And I'm going to tell it that we're in the Eastern time zone. And so um, all of our templates, I've changed mine around to where I have either it says host in places where I want the hostess's name or where I want the party link, which I'm putting pretty much at the beginning of every post now. I put this little um, thing with link inside of it. So I'm going to just put Tamara's name and then I name all of my parties the exact same, so I can always just go down to that menu and um, do the date of it like that. Yeah. So that whenever I go and click create, it's going to automatically put um, Tamara's party link in here. And anywhere that I have uh, some of my hosts, some of my posts say something like, this or that, which do you think Tamara would choose over the other? So instead of going into each post and typing, changing Tamara's name, um, you just put it in that spot we did before and it puts it right in there for you. Yeah. Um, so, th like so then that is just day one is already set up um, throughout, before, of course, before the next month, I'll go and change the image for the guest specials. Um, and then you just hit update back to parties and you've got her day one there. Okay. Well, then just to do a second day, all you do is go back to schedule new and say, I want to do the, um, say I want to do entertaining that day, personal event, go back to Tamara's party. And then you're just going to choose that you want to start on Tuesday instead of that Monday for your second day. Oh, and so everything else is just the same. Sweet. So yeah, like Honey, that's going to take you 10 minutes. Yeah. Now, so right there, I've got two days set up for her now. I see Jenny's eyes are wide. Jenny, are you blown away? <laughs> I, I, Pampered Chef is kind of like my second home-based business. Gotcha. Uh, and so I've kind of wanted, a lot of my family's in Florida. I live in Alabama. My husband's in Florida. So we moved around. That's how I met Christina was in South Carolina. I, all of mine are virtual. Um, and people have loved it because I do know so many people all over the United States. Mm -hmm. and so right now, my niece is actually, I'm in the middle of doing one for her right now. She's in Florida. And I got someone that's in Colorado that's fixing to order from her party. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 this would save me so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And all of those, all of these posts, like, so Monday when her party starts at seven o'clock, this is automatically going to post at seven. The next one is seven Oh one. The next one is seven Oh two. So I don't even wake up until like eight, eight thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even with a one year old, I'm not awake when it starts posting. So see, Jenny, this is really going to save you and be a lifesaver for you because you can be in, you know, carpool line or, or doing whatever grocery shopping and this is posting for you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is going to save me so much, so much time. Now, when I go into the, when, does it cost to set up this post my party? 
It's a free 14 day trial and then it's just $9 and change. I think it might be $9.99 per month. Right. Absolutely <laughs> worth it. Tax write off for you. That is, that's nothing. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you. The only thing that you ever have to think about is sometimes if you have, like I'll try, I shoot for two to three parties uh, running at the same time every single week. So sometimes I will run into this, to the problem of they will alert you if there's any duplicates. Like if there's the same post is posting in three different parties at the same time, it, everything will light up yellow and it'll tell you that that's been duplicated. And all you have to do to change that is just go over here to adjust posts, change it by say five minutes, yep. hit update. Okay. And it's going to change what time it posts by about five minutes or whatever you choose so that it's not going to be duplicated at the same time. Yeah, because duplicated posts like that wind you up in Facebook jail. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. I'm like, I'm... It was awful. Awful. Well, and I think, and I know, Jenna, do you set up the events or do you have your host do it? I set them all up now. Okay. Absolutely. Because that way, and I've had some um, some older older guests that have done parties for me. Um, like my mother-in-law's friends, you know, they don't know how to set up an event um, and it might take them a little longer. So this way I just say, Hey, there's an event invitation in your, um, in your notifications, go accept that. And then I'm going to make you a co-host and you're ready to invite people. I like that. And you, and you can do it either way. I mean, I have hosts set up the event and make me a co-host. And if they don't know how to do it, I'll walk them through it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and I'm sure that everybody sees it, but it, it's just, it kind of makes them take ownership. Right. Oh yeah, that's true. Too. Um, and you know, and, and I try to have them set the event up the full week before the party. Yeah. And then that's that another good thing too, is they set up the, the event the whole week before. So they have a week to start building, you know, and getting I, people on it. But then when it starts, I find a bunch of people jump on when it starts. Yeah. yeah. I try and set it up the Wednesday before the party starts mm -hmm. and then um, I try may, at least only one time a day. I don't really post more than that, but maybe one time a day or every other day making a post in the party about, Hey, you know, the party starts in a couple days. Um, what are you looking forward to? Or always, there's always that one good standby of like the little gif, mm -hmm. um, the little stick person. And it says something about a dance battle. Yeah. Getting people in there and, and posting. Yeah. That's good. And, then, and the, the virtual party groups have, you know, you got to join the virtual party groups. Oh, yeah. There are tons of, tons of stuff there, yeah. you know, that, that you can get ideas from, but it's, um, it, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I think what I will do as well is follow Kim's lead and set up a separate Facebook group. So if you're watching this, recording yes we're gonna have another facebook group however it is going to be geared toward nothing but virtual parties for our team we will share templates together so like if jenny if she sets up a really cool tailgating template um she can share that on there and we can all share each other's templates that's key don't you think jenna that that's been the key for us is people can go there and get it yes because i mean you know there's instances where my mom has come up with a Thanksgiving template yeah. and I've been telling meaning to tell her post it on that site because you know it's last minute and someone may not have time to go in and create their own Thanksgiving template so if they can just go in and grab something real quick yeah. have many different options and if you're brand new and you're trying to get active this month this would be a great way to do it just borrow some of the templates fill it up for a week and you're done yeah. Good. And and when you run one party, when you set one party up, you can, that's all it takes. That's it. Mm -hmm. You're ready you to learn go. really quick. The learning curve is, is small. Yeah. You'll be addicted. You'll want like two, three, four parties all at the same time. I love it. She can run a bunch. I can run about two a week and that's it. <laughs> yeah, because that's a lot to keep up with. Like, oh, that's gosh, a lot for me to keep up with. Jen is like, boom, 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 boom. I mean, she can do it. If I could do three or four at the same time, I would. Because I always, I always count on my own having at least one of the parties not um, 
not qualify. So I try and count for that and have something else to make up for that. I agree. I like it. All right. So any other tips for us that you want to give us before um, we let you go? I know you got some um, stuff to uh, decorate and some cakes to do and cookies to do. Any other tips that you can think of? Um, not that I can think of right now, other than just those postings that are little games for people to do. Um, don't, I would suggest not going in and doing all kinds of giveaways. If you're doing a giveaway, I would suggest maybe giving away, um, drawing entries for winnings. And then at the end doing one big drawing for like a cookbook or toaster tongs, because you don't want to give away um more than what you're making right especially yeah and tell them ahead of time one of i think one of my very first posts says something about we will do a drawing as soon as or once the party has hit 200 um, so that they can't come in there and expect even if nobody bought anything that you're giving something away i'm digging you on that one on that one big time. She's amazing. <laughs> asked her to do this. So Jenna, yeah. thank you so very much. Again, congrats on being a new uh, Fast Track director. This is just fabulous for you. Thank and you. I'm looking forward to, you know, all of our team members now experiencing some really good um, results like you have. So this is exciting. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Today. Oh, you're welcome. Today, I appreciate you. Absolutely. I hope this helps. Uh, oh, yes. It is. <laughs> Jenny's like, yes. <laughs> 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 I 